Hey folks, my name is Rojo and welcome to Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink is a uh, sort of turn-based strategy roguelike and it is a tactical espionage game. I guess that's a pretty apt description for it. We're gonna go ahead and get started here and uh, we'll see some story, uh, a little bit of an intro and stuff along the way here to kind of set the scene. But we'll uh, we'll start a new game. We are going to be doing a uh, an expert campaign and uh, I've beaten the game on beginner and experience, which is why I'm going expert. Seems like the next logical progression. Uh, additionally, just real quick, uh, the uh, the game came out, I think, back in May 2015, so it's a few months old. But recently, uh, about a week ago, there was a DLC release called Contingency Plan, which kind of expands the campaign a little bit. And uh, I've uh, found it to be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Get to the main server, collect the data, and get out. No detours. Copy that, Central. Proceeding to target. Oh. Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comms? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. They should have detected us by now. Receiving They're on to you. Get out. Get out of there! HQ compromised. We're going to need an extraction. I've got incognita. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Go! Decker, how long till extraction? 30 seconds. Get us out of here. We've got work to do. All right, pretty intense. So our HQ has been compromised and we are definitely on the run. Uh, but now we need to pick our starting team, and uh, canonically, I suppose it's Decker and uh, International here. Both uh, perfectly fine agents, but I have a, a different set in mind. Uh, we're going to be going with uh, Nika. Naratova is a deadly weapon in human form. One would think that such an aggressive style would be a liability, but she makes it work. Just try not to make any sudden moves in her peripheral vision if you want your arms to remain in their sockets. And additionally, we're going to be going with Sharp. Most people find Sharp off-putting because of his cybernetic enhancements. I find him off-putting because he's a sociopath with almost no regard for human life. I shudder to think what he's capable of, and I say this as a person who spends most of her time interfacing with a disembodied artificial intelligence. Alright, I'll explain why we chose these characters, uh, sort of as we play. Um, but for now, we also need to pick a... Uh couple programs here so I'm gonna go with fusion and uh, parasite and again I'll explain these as we play the game all right it's 2074 and the corporations rule the world with brutal efficiency they hit you hard and now you're on the run you need to strike back but you'll never win by force keep your agents alive with stealth and cunning raid the corpse facilities for tools and support and prepare your team for the final showdown the odds are stacked against you you will fail repeatedly but each time you will learn more about your adversaries and every restart generates a new world of dangers and opportunities. You have a tough job ahead of you, Operator. Don't let us down. You know, it's funny because actually I haven't found this game to be that difficult on uh, beginner and uh, normal. But uh, I expect Expert will uh, provide 
probably a pretty good challenge. We may fail here, so we'll see. Operator, are you there? Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed, and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jets' stealth rig should keep us hidden if we keep moving, but Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. Indeed we are. Alrighty, so this just explains our uh, starting loadout here. That's fine. So this is our, our main map here, and basically we only have one mission that we can do right now. It's uh, this uh, executive terminal over here, and typically these will unlock uh, some additional areas that we can go and raid in the next mission. So let's go ahead and check this out. Executives are notoriously slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find the computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our pick of future targets. Indeed we will. So let's infiltrate. Basically, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a little, little smash and grab here to some extent. It's sort of the way the game goes. And we have arrived. Bad news, Operator. They caught us completely by surprise, so we have no firepower with us. The guards' weapons are gene-coded to their owner and useless to us. We're going to have to make do with what we can find along the way. We've beamed you through the security grid. You should be somewhere near the target, but you'll need to look for it. Get the list and find a transport pad to escape. But be quick about it. They noticed a disturbance when we ported in and their alarm level is already rising. Alrighty, primary objectives uh, locate the executive terminal and of course get out alive is nice but also uh, maybe get a little something for ourselves on the way now there's a lot to go over here uh, I think this is I think Nika is actually the woman in the uh, the intro cinematic um, sharp however I don't think we saw <laughs> but uh, the uh, yeah the gist of the game is basically we we take our turns and then the enemy takes their turn and uh, during our turn we're gonna be doing stuff uh, primarily like sneaking around and seeing what's going on in different rooms I just used uh, the peak ability here which costs one action point and of course as you can see uh, we have action points as sort of our metric of how much we can do in a turn and we uh, we found a guy in there but we can't do much with him right now so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna come over here and hack this console this is gonna give us some extra power which you can see up here not much but it helps and it doesn't cost any uh, action points to do that so that's uh, another thing if we look at what uh, incognita has to offer us that's the AI uh, that's sort of plugged into the jet right now uh, she has some different programs which can help us uh, help us out on these missions for now we're just gonna use fusion which costs us five power but we gain three uh, power every turn while it's on cooldown it has a four turn cooldown so basically we spend five power and we get 12 back over the course of um, four turns. And that's sort of going to be how we generate most of our power. Now then, this gentleman here, we would uh, we'd be interested in knowing what he's going to be uh, what he's going to be doing. So what we can do now that we've peeked through the door with Sharp, we can observe his movements. He's actually going to come through this door. So we probably want to put ourselves on ambush mode. I'm actually going to put Nika on ambush. So one of the reasons that I chose Nika uh, is because she has this adrenal regulator. Uh, it gives her an extra attack per turn and she gains an extra three action points after any attack. Most characters can only, only attack once uh, per turn. So this gives her the opportunity to attack more than once per turn. And she has a special uh, weapon here, the uh, Volt Disruptor. It's not a special weapon. There are other types of Volt Disruptors, but this one's hers. <laughs> and uh, it costs two power to use it, but it doesn't have a, a cooldown. Whereas if we look at Sharp's Volt Disruptor, he, uh, he, or sorry, he is a Neural Disruptor. It has a three turn cooldown. So basically, Nika can kind of uh, 
go go crazy with uh, knocking people out as long as we have enough power to support her. So let's go ahead and end our turn and uh, let this guy come in and uh, get KO'd here. Voila! One KO'd guard. Pretty easily done. However, there's a problem now. The, uh, for one, yeah, the security level is going to keep rising. As the, uh, as the security increases, as it says, um, more, uh, more challenging obstacles will be thrown in our path. Now then, now that this guy is knocked out, we can actually take his stuff. For starters here, we'll definitely take his, uh, security card. Uh, additionally, though, you can see he's got this green two over his head. That means we're pinning him. If we go like that, we're no longer, um, pinning him. So what's going to happen is that two is going to count down every turn. That's bad, because once it gets to uh, zero, he wakes up. But if we keep pinning him, that won't uh, that number won't go down, and he'll stay KO'd. So we're going to keep him pinned for the moment. Now we can see here on Incognita, we've got this camera. All these red zones are zones where uh, enemies can see. Yellow zones are ones where we can kind of move safely without getting caught. If a camera sees us, it may alert some guards, but it'll also increase the security level. So what we're going to do, you can see it's got a one here. That's one firewall, basically. But our Parasite uh, program here breaks one firewall at the start of each turn. And it's free for the first one, but each one, in addition, uh, that's running at the same time, costs an extra one power. So we'll put that there. And we'll just chill out for one turn. You can hear another, another guard in there, actually. But there you go, so we've hacked this camera, we can see through it now, and it, it won't alert the guards or increase the security level as we uh, as we go through. Let's take another look uh, through here now. This is a big room, we got a lot going on here. What I'm going to do is actually, um, you can drag security guards while they're dead or knocked out. So I'm going to start dragging this guy this way. Nika's not terribly strong, the higher your, your strength stat, um, the better... Uh, you can do as far as dragging people, but we'll worry about stats later on. We can also have her just ha hijack this, or sorry, hack this console. Sharp's actually a little bit better hacker than she is, but uh, we don't probably need to worry about power too much for for this particular mission. All right, so there's the guy that we heard probably before. I'm actually gonna open this door since we, there's no. Uh, way that any, anybody is going to see us opening the door. When you open the door and peek, uh, you see a little bit more of the room, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Now, if possible, I'd like to avoid that guard. I'm going to go ahead and fusion up again. we got some safes here. Actually, this is a facility database. This is going to give us sort of a general map of the area, so that's worth hacking. And this is a corporate safe. Safes have uh, generally uh, credits in them, but sometimes uh, items as well. So it's good to hack them when you can. That's sort of your primary source of income. All right. Keep dragging this guy along so we can keep him pinned and sort of move Nika up. Because we do need to find the exit as well. I'm going to actually close this door, though. I don't, uh, I don't know if I want this guy to be able to see me. Uh, one other thing is uh, we've got these blast doors over here. So eventually enemies are going to, are going to spawn in here as the security level rises. Or other, there may be other doors just like it on the map. And they could, uh, yeah, they could spawn in, you know, somewhere over here. So we want to, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it, I guess, is the best way to put it. I'm going to go ahead and bring Sharp. You could probably safely go, like, right there. And might as well hack that. There we go. We got a camera over here. So I'm going to, I could wait and, and hack this for free, but I'm just going to hack it now. I'm not too worried about it. And that should allow us to um, to actually get over to uh, the safe without getting seen, I hope, anyway. This guy shouldn't see me because I'm, I'm hidden behind uh, cover here. So the corporation is activating additional cameras. That's okay. It's not so bad. Like this one right here. You can see is uh, is about to be activated, so I'm going to go ahead and preemptively hack that. So the start of the next turn, it's ours, and we don't have to worry about it spotting us. Now, what we want to do is uh, where is this kind of guy going to go again? Kind of goes like right up to there. So I'm thinking maybe we maybe we could go there. We can also kind of lower the 
the uh, the walls a little bit to get a better idea of where we're going to stand. But I don't want to get seen if I can avoid it. So I'm going to put Sharp here. I think he should be okay. Uh, Nika, on the other hand, I'm not sure if she's going to be able to drag this guy far enough. But yeah, she can, she can actually drag him right here. Guards aren't going to notice if the door is uh, left open, but they will notice it if you open it while uh, it's in their sort of cone of vision. So that uh, camera is activated. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> I didn't think the camera would uh, would activate before we get a chance to hack it. So that's kind of bad. However, what we can do, uh, we only have one, one of these per, uh, per mission, but we can do a rewind. Let's just redo our last turn, basically. It's a little early to be using my rewind, unfortunately, but I think it's... Uh, Best if we maybe just leave uh, leave this guard here for the time being. He's just going to turn right back around. There we go. Oh, except I forgot to hack the thing, apparently. Yeah, because you have to do redo everything you did on, on your on your last turn there. So it's OK. It's not like a big deal. But now that this guy has turned around, we can actually uh, kind of sneak over. Uh, it's a little tempting to sneak over there. I'm going to just go maybe to here and he won't hear us we could actually sprint and that'll give us a few more uh, action points for the turn but the uh the guards will hear so that's uh that's bad news all right end our turn eventually uh as the security level rises guards will change up their patrols though so you need to be you need to be cautious all right let's open the door let's try this uh maneuver again drag the security guard here Drop the guy, and uh, that should be fine. Then we can move sharp up here and steal, let's say, 120 credits. That will be useful, no doubt. And then we can actually move him. I, think I'm gonna, I guess we can't move him right there. Oh, yeah, there's something in the way. Uh, I guess I'm going to move him right there. All right. Yeah, this guy has no clue what's going on, which is good for us. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have Sharp come over here and uh, peek in this room. This room looks to be empty. So I'm going to actually open the door and hide in here <laughs> and wait for our guard to go by. We can also drag uh, this, this security guard over a little bit farther. We can actually even drag him right over to here. I think we can get away with this. I'm going to drop him there and uh, I want to... Now, she doesn't have enough action points, so we'll look through the, that door next time. Don't think that guard's going to see her. I don't think he goes far enough. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's going on. Got like a big hallway, but doesn't seem to be anybody in there, and I think this door goes to the same room. Um, so I'm going to wait for that guy to turn back around, I think. But we'll move, uh, we'll move sharp over like that. And I think we should be... Good. I don't think that door is in his cone of vision, but just to be 100% safe, I didn't want to uh, didn't want to tempt fate there since we don't have any rerolls left. All right, so all the firewalls are increased by one thanks to the heightened security. That's not good, but it's not that bad either. All right, let's uh, let's get this door open now and drag this guy inside. This poor bastard's getting dr dragged all over the place. Oh, that does actually go to a different room though. So we might actually have Sharp go check that out uh, when he gets the action points to to make it over there. Can she uh, can she drag him? No, she can't drag him any farther. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll leave him leave him be for the moment here. Sharp's gonna have to chill out and wait a little bit. Unfortunately, there's just not much we can do about that unless we want to KO this guard, which I I don't want to do because then we have to manage two pins, and that's that's kind of where you start to get into trouble when guards start waking up uh, because you can't manage the pins. All right, in here we're going to have one camera. So we may as well hack that. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get in there without uh, activating the camera. But on these, uh, by the same token, like, it doesn't seem like there's anything in there, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm actually just going to move Sharp in here. And uh, we're going to just keep moseying on down this way. If we drop him, we can actually peek around this corner. There's nothing going on here 
uh, either in, in this room, really. It seems pretty empty, which is good for us. We're still looking for the uh, the exit, and we're still looking for our main objective, actually. The uh, the executive termo terminal that we came here to uh, to hack. It's going to keep doing fusion just to make sure our power stays maxed, uh, you know, as much as it can. Let's move her like that, and then we drop the guy. Aha! It still has a solitaire game up on the screen. Huh. <laughs> Very funny. So we will hack this, actually. We'll start hacking this now. There's no reason to, to wait. We're not really going to be hurting for power anytime soon. And I'm tempted to have sharp run, but it's a little bit of a dangerous move because I don't know what's behind these other doors. Um, we don't know where the exit is. It's probably over here or in this corner over here. But we're going to get sharp next to one of the doors here so that he can, uh, he can peek through because I think the guards are going to start changing patrols pretty soon here. Okay, this should, uh, yeah, I was going to say, that should activate. Normally, we would like to hack that console if possible, but we don't really need to. Like I said, we're, we're doing fine on power for this uh, particular mission. I'm going to move Nika over here. She's going to be the one to uh, probably get the data. Let's open this door up a little bit and get a better look. Okay, we do have a security card. Uh, these these red doors require the, uh, the passcodes that we picked up, basically. Let's take a look in here. Can't quite tell what's going on in there. Yeah, it is another camera. All right, a little bit of a risky move, but uh, we're kind of nearing the end of the uh, the mission, I think. So I'm gonna actually just go on tour and uh, spend a bunch of power getting all these hacked, and uh, hopefully by the time we're ready to leave this area, we'll uh, we'll be able to hack, uh, or sorry, we'll be able to break into all these because they'll be hacked. Ooh, gotta be careful though. And there's another guard coming in. Luckily from this direction though, so he's pretty far away from us right now. It's gonna take him a couple turns to get to us. However, it's worth noting, as soon as we take what's in here, um, the guards are gonna get suspicious and uh, switch up the patrols and, and everything. So we need to be very cautious about how we proceed here. Doesn't seem like uh, the uh, this guy is doing much. Oh, there's actually another camera here even. All right, let's... Uh, Take a look through here again. All right. Maybe uh, we stand like right there. Typically, guards won't open these secure doors, even if they had the passcode in my experience. Um, but that's that's just, you know, been my experience so far. There's no guarantee that that will uh, continue to be the case. All right. What's this guy up here going to do? We actually do have vision on him, and because we have vision on him with uh, one of the cameras, is that, uh, yeah, that's parasited, all right, good. Since we have vision on this guy with one of the cameras, we can actually observe him with one of our characters. Kind of see where he's going to go, so he's going to try and go in this room, that's good, because we're not in there. All right, we'll drop this guy here. And uh, we, can, we can steal from the terminal, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to... Search this area a little bit more. Might as well, uh, yeah, we're going to need to fusion up again. We'll put a parasite on that one. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure which way uh, to go here. There is one problem, though. Nika is the one who actually has the pass card. So uh, that could be that could be a small uh, wrench in the plans here. But we'll move sharp over and uh, see what we got going on here. In this one other room. Getting kind of to a little bit of a high security level for our current, you know, agent uh, capability and number of agents. So there's our exit. All right. Excellent. That's good news. Uh, the bad news is that I kind of want to steal this stuff <laughs> over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get real uh, dangerous and I'm going to I'm going to take this stuff now, I think. So we'll take the site list. Good job. You've got the site list. They noticed you poking about and have changed up their patrols. Be careful on your way out. So yeah, they changed up the patrols now, but we're going to put Nico over here in ambush mode. And as you saw, that basically makes it so when somebody comes out that they can actually ambush. Um, we uh, we take them out before they raise the alarm a little bit further. Now this guy's going to start waking up, so we do need to be uh, need to be swift here. Not sure where everybody's gonna end up going. 
Very, uh, could be a very tricky situation. Yeah, this guy, I thought he would come out this way, so... I was hoping he wasn't going, going to go after Sharp, but like I said, they typically don't open those doors. Alright, what's this guy got? This guy's got another security passcode thingy. We don't need that. We do need, uh, we do need that. And, uh, have I been, uh, I haven't even been hacking this one. Oh, jeez. Uh, we're gonna have to leave that one alone. We're, we're just gonna get out of here. Luckily, Nika has the, uh, the key to this door, so we'll open that up. And move her a little bit farther. I'm actually gonna close that one, though. And I'm gonna actually make sharp run so that you can come over here and close this door so Nika can get through, hopefully, uh, unscathed. All right, these guys are definitely coming down after us, but that's okay. Because we're about to be out of here, I think. So move sharp over. We'll go ahead and just close that. Yeah, I should have been hacking that other one. I, th I think I thought I was, but it's okay. It's not a, not a big deal. Missing out on a little bit of credits early on isn't going to hurt us too bad because there's probably not going to be that much good stuff to buy immediately anyway, so we'll be okay. Curious what's going to happen on this next security level as well. One more guard, all right. We can handle one more guard, especially since he starts way back there. All right, let's get uh, let's get a move on here. We'll uh, we'll put Nika here and grab what's in this thing. Some more credits is fine, and we're just about home free. I think we don't have much to worry about here. Just kind of go through the paces and uh, get out of here. Just get in the area. Yeah, these guys. Some of these guys are on high alert because we knocked them out, but uh, it's not gonna matter. Oh, that guy uh, got discovered. This the. Or actually, no, I, they didn't discover his corpse. He, he, he woke up. That's what happened. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to hop on the uh, the teleporter here and get the hell out of here. So that's going to be the end of our first mission. That contact list will prove invaluable when planning our next move. Excellent work. Good times. And that is the end of mission report. Just kind of giving us the idea of sort of how much uh, wealth we got. Some of the spawns are like a little bit hard to see. It's pretty tiny. We did miss one safe. It's okay. Not a big deal. And uh, we got a fair bit of credits and all that kind of good stuff. So I think we'll call it here. Uh, when we come back, we'll see what kind of missions we've unlocked to go to next. We should have a pretty good variety of stuff to check out. Uh, so until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.